Hi everyone, it's Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's Welcome. I'm here to show you how to make some faux rice paper. So fun to do. Now you just take a beautiful napkin and you take the plies off. Now I just do it with some tape if you see right there. This one right here has um, two plies, that's, number, that's one. And we'll take the other one off. There we go. Save the plies. You can do the same. You can do it with the backing also. I'm going to show you how, you how that's done today. And boy, it gives a really, really pretty, pretty look with the backing. All right. So this is beautiful floral paper. I don't need the whole thing. So I'm just going to um, take a scissor and I'm just going to cut, cut it off today. And then I'll use the other piece for a beautiful project um, soon. All right. So what you need for this is Mod Podge and some coffee all right so the the ratio is two-thirds part mod podge and one-third part coffee now this is instant coffee right here what you do is you take hot water and pour your instant coffee in there now in mine i add a little bit extra i add some cinnamon i add some ground cloves i added pumpkin pie spice and it makes it the paper smell really really pretty so you mix it all together and if you could see it turns it to a brown color just like so Alrighty, so now you just take your beautiful paper. Now remember, you have to do it on plastic. Um, if, if not, it will not lift off. It has to be plastic. It could just be um, the the bags from your uh, supermarket. Um, but just make sure you don't put the printed side down or, or the printed side will come on your napkin. All right, so um, what I did was I took a black marker and I just um, made uh, points like where the napkin is just so I know where to put my Mod Podge. There we go. So the Mod Podge goes right on there. Mod Podge and coffee mixture, I should say. And then just put your napkin down just like so right there. Boom. And it's down. Oh, I've got a little spot right there. Let's put some of the coffee mixture Mod Podge down. All right. So now just take your fingers and put it, push, push any, if you see any air bubbles, just get them down with your brush, just like so. Pop them down. Um, you will see some air bubbles in from when the napkin is being laid down. Then you're just going to want to take your mixture and put a coat right on top. Do it lightly. Um, you do not want to, because it's a, it's a napkin and napkins tear real easily. Even if it does tear, it doesn't matter. Just take a little bit of your Mod Podge on your brush, put the two pieces together, and um, you won't even see it. It'll be totally fine. Just make sure you get a second coat on your napkin. Now, what you want to do is for the edges, you want to take your brush and sort of push the edges in. This is going to, all that this does is make it release off the plastic easy easier. That's all it does. So you're sort of just rolling it up and pushing it in. And I'll tell you, it really gives it a really, really pretty effect when it's dry anyway. All right, so that's the backing right there. See, I'm just taking my marker just so I can mark out where I need to put my Mod Podge and coffee mixture. And I'm just putting it down. I like to make a square, and then I just fill it in just like so. And you just want to put a nice coat down. One, two, three, just like that. And then you just put your paper down. When I'm doing smaller sections just like that, I could do two at one time. When I did the other section before, I only did one piece because it's a larger sheet. Um, the smaller sheets you can do two at one time You just because you don't want your Mod Podge to dry before you get to put your pretty napkin down. So now I'm see right there, I'm just trying to get the air bubbles out. And there we go. And they're gone. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing to the beautiful sunflower napkins. And these napkins I got from Amazon. I did get them last year. Not sure if they still have them or not. But they are from Amazon last year, though. So, But they might still have them. Who knows? All right. So doing the same thing. And I'm putting an, a, a thin coat on the top, just like so. And I will also be edging out the edges on both napkins just so they they can release easy. Now remember, it needs to be put on plastic. It will not release from anything else but plastic. All right, so this takes 24 hours to dry. Leave it for 24 hours. Don't try to do it with a heat gun, a blow dryer, or anything like that. Let it dry on its own. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get the nice effect that you want. And make sure you leave it on a flat surface. You also don't want to put it on anything that's not flat because it's going to dry exactly on uh, the these what the surface underneath is going to be if that makes sense if it's a curvy surface on, on the bottom it's going to dry with a curve in it so uh keep it on a flat surface and in 24 hours it'll be dry and i'll show you how easily it is to uh peel up after it's all dry there we go 24 hours later with the magic of television and look how easily that peels right off now look how pretty that is now the backing is going to be shiny 
because of the plastic, but look at that. It almost has the effect of stained glass. Isn't it gorgeous? So beautiful. Think of all the crafting projects you can do that with. It's great for junk journaling. It's great for scrapbooking. Now that's the backing and look how pretty it looks. It's like a piece of almost like leather. It's just beautiful. And look at the flexibility of it. You can, you can mold it, you can twist it. Um, you can look at that. Isn't that beautiful? How pretty. I don't, I've got a lot of fun projects in my mind for that. Now, I use mine as a, one of mine as a tag on a jar. Look how pretty that tag looks instead of using wood or paper. I think it's gorgeous as a tag. Just take a hole puncher, punch a hole in it, and add it um, uh, on a pretty jug, and it looks so pretty. Now, I just want to show you this. This is a full napkin that I did that I didn't cut, and isn't it gorgeous? And you can fold it right back into the shape of the napkin. This stuff is amazing. There's so many possibilities that you can do with your beautiful napkins now by turning them into faux rice paper. Just gorgeous. We're going to be doing a lot of projects with them now. I just wanted to show you uh, what you what you need to do to make this. So happy creating with all of these ladies and have a great, great day. My name again is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. If you haven't followed me yet, please come and follow. We'd love to have you on my page. And you can see how I make things with these beautiful faux rice papers. And there we go. Just like that. And I love the big one. The big one's so pretty. And that could be put on a picture frame. The uses for these are endless. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day.